Hey, Ewing family. My name is Latoya and welcome to the channel. Okay, if my lips are blue, it's because I just had a blue raspberry slushy from McDonald's, okay? So, and I look a hot mess, but just ignore all of that because I have a message for you all. So I actually tried to record this this morning and yeah, I might look like a hot mess now. I was looking way crazier this morning, but anyways, let's get into the video. <sighs> okay, I'm trying to think back to everything that I was saying this morning because it was literally like I just woke up and God was like, put this out there, right? So this morning, so today is October 8th. Today's October 8th and this morning at like two o'clock in the morning, Marcus and I was having a chit chat and you know I'm at the point in my life where I am literally like figuring myself out you know and I mean that who am I who is Latoya right now I know some of y'all be like oh you're an Air Force veteran or you're a business owner or you know but my entire life I've always done things for other people, I always live my life for others. I never really defined who I am, what I like, what I like to do and stuff like that. And so now that I am out of the military one year now, because we got I got out um, August of 2020, so during the pandemic, I made the decision to just get out and find me and define me like it it is been a struggle it's like a mind thing you know i've been so used to like living life for other people or doing things for other people or just hiding my true self um that's one of the biggest things too why i'm having to define who i am as a person because my entire life i've had to mask me you know what i like what my interests are if I was interested in something, you know, or it was like taboo or like, you know, like it just wasn't accepted. And so in turn, I didn't really accept myself. And that carried on throughout my life. And I had other things, you know, some of y'all know the backstory of like me trying to find my family or not being raised by my biological parents. And like, there's layers to this, okay? So what you guys are seeing is who I feel like I am, but there are times where like, I get afraid, especially on this channel, to really show my entire self. Now, I'm just gonna say this. If you're not subscribed to my personal channel with Toya Brinson, go ahead and give it a look. Like, I talk about spiritual chats and, you know, Starbucks reviews and, and everything else in between. And, those are things that I would never dare talk to people, let alone put that stuff on the internet because like it's so misunderstood or like people judge. And it just seems like my entire life I've always been judged. I'm a good person. I am a giving person. And though like life has seemed like a really bad struggle, y'all like it, I just like feel like sometimes I just can't catch a break sometimes, but I still press forward. At the same time, it's like, sometimes I'm so afraid to show who I am as a person because of judgment or lack of understanding. And, you know, I was having this conversation with DeMarcus and I said, I'm just so fearful. You know, I'm just so fearful of like what people would think of me. I hold back. I hold back who I am. And when I said that, DeMarcus said to me, he said, this is the reason why we're not progressing the way that we should be. He said that. He said, because you're not, you're holding back who you truly are. That is why we are not where we're supposed to be. We are not reaching our full potential. And when I thought about it, I was like, he's right. I didn't argue with him. I hold myself back because of what I fear, 
And I know a lot of y'all, maybe not all, but a good chunk of people in the world or a good chunk of people that may watch us hold, oh, excuse, excuse that, hold ourselves back. We do. For what? We are all masterpieces. Master pieces. We are pieces of the master or the creator or this universe. We are pieces of that. And we are masterpieces of this grand thing called life. So we're all not going to be the same. We're very similar, very similar. We are very similar, but we are very craftly, divinely crafted beings here. So when we don't honor ourselves or represent ourselves to our best ability, if we don't take pride in who we are, especially if we're not hurting someone or we're not putting people down or anything like that, then we're doing a dishonor to ourselves and to the, to the creator. Whether you believe in God or not, or we're all a part of this big grand thing. So with that being said, DeMarcus told me, and I'm telling you, if this resonates with you, to own your power. There is only one you. There's only one uniquely divine created you. And there is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with who you are. There's nothing wrong with your interests. There's nothing wrong with what you want to do with life. As long as you're not hurting yourself or others. You're not out here putting bad in the world. And, and I know that I am that. Like, I would give the shirt off my back. Hell, I was getting food when I didn't have food in my refrigerator at one time. You know, and that like, and it didn't bother me. This was years ago. I'm still, I have to tell y'all that story. DeMarcus and I are gonna have to have a sit down with that story. But I really never own my power fully. And that is what makes you the best version of yourself. When you take that power, because God created you, he created you with his power. You have a piece of that. So why are you afraid of that? Why, are you, why do you care that someone may judge you or might not like you, you know? And I've been like that my entire life, even since a little girl. You know, I've always had to just be what others wanted me to be or not say things to not ruffle any feathers or, or, or be the odd one or the weird one. You know, was, this morning he was telling me how like his friends from Louisiana was saying I was weird. Now back then when we was living there, like he would say, you know, I don't care what anyone says about you. I'm still going to date you. But he would never tell me what people were saying until recently. And I was like, why am I, why, what is weird about me? So the fact that like, I might not be your typical in the box type of person that I wasn't raised and, and grew up in Monroe, Louisiana. And to anyone from, you know, that DeMarcus friends who may have said that's, you know, about me to him. Well, first of all, like, I'm the best thing that's happened to him and he's the best thing that's happened to me. But I'm weird because I'm not the stereotypical female. Because I have prided myself or I carry myself differently. And you know what? Me being weird, I've heard that. And that was more of the reason why I just never showed myself. But that was me giving my power away. So I told Marcus this morning that I am going to own my power 
And whether someone likes me or not, I don't care. Because I'm giving that away. I'm giving my power away to someone who is irrelevant or shouldn't even be in my life or doesn't know me, you know. Um, and I really hope that this touches someone because there's a lot of us out here. You would think that me being almost 32, that I would have it figured out. And now I'm realizing, does anyone ever have this thing called life figured out? I feel like as I get older, I'm getting younger in the sense that I'm realizing that this is just one big thing that you just have to figure out and go with. And But at the same time, you just have to make sure that you know who you are as a person and know that you are putting good out there and know that you are affecting people in a positive way, which is what I pride myself on. So whether people call me weird or not, or think I'm odd or not, or whether they don't like me or not, I know at the end of the day, I would do whatever I could to help someone or to change someone's life. Now, at this time in my life, as we're figuring out entrepreneurship and we just, we moved twice in a year, you know, because things weren't working out, I'm, you know, I'm like, oh my goodness, did I make the right decision? But in the back of my mind, I, I understand that certain decisions will have certain things that you'll have to go through, that nothing is truly perfect or life moves in cycles. But at the end of the day, you know, then throw in the towel or give up or, you know, that I'm still putting on a brave face. I like what I do now. And I'm here to deliver what I can to you guys and to my community eventually. You know, and that's all I can do. Whether anyone accepts me or not, thinks that I'm weird or not, thinks I'm crazy, don't want to mess with me. At the end of the day, I'm taking my power back. And you should do the same too. You should. Don't let nobody ruffle your feathers. Don't let nobody tell you what you should and shouldn't do if it's not in your heart. I hope y'all don't hear Marcus snoring. Oh, God. <laughs> but, okay. I, I don't know if I said everything that I wanted to say from this morning's video. Y'all, it was a hot mess and it really was coming more from the heart, but now that time has passed, I'm just like, oh, great. But I did... I did bring in some points, some points. Um, own your power. Cause that's gonna set you apart from everyone else. And, and honor that everyone else has their own unique power too, you know? We're all unique, we're all special, we're all masterpieces. Take your power back and own it. All right, y'all. I'm not even going to ask you to like, comment, subscribe, share this. Share this to someone who may need this message. That's all I ask. All right, guys. I will see y'all in the next video if you come back. Bye. Ewing family out.